Sunshine here, and today's gonna be a video about what my early thoughts are on Andrew Gower's Brighter Shore. So, I played this game yesterday. I didn't play it at launch, but I played it. I think about seven, eight, ten hours after. You know, I kind of just did it on a whim, and we can see what my character was doing. I was AFKing because this game actually does have an AFK mode. Um, ten hours ago. So, what does ten hours of AFK give me? I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what's gonna happen right now. But I was killing these things. AFK mode, and let's kind of see what happens. So right now it's like, okay, you continue fighting creepy street street lights for nine hours and twenty-seven minutes. So you gained fourteen thousand experience and thirteen silver and six hundred twenty-four bronze. Um, pretty much one thousand bronze is one silver. I'm assuming there is a gold as well, so um, we'll see. Uh, I'm still AFKing these apparently. Uh, I did level up. Again, AFKing isn't that strong and. That's the one complaint I've seen, which is kind of funny, but, um, let's just talk about the game in general. So, <laughs> there's a lot of people on. It's kind of funny, like, um, yeah, uh, there's, this guy just said, talked about level 20. Uh, he's probably talking about how at level 20, the XP, ca um, to get to the next level, it's quite uh, substantial, uh, the XP increase. Um, overall, I think this game is a combination of RuneScape, Dofus... And uh, it's a little bit stylistically like Dark Alliance, Boulder's Gate, Dark Dark Alliance. If you ever play that game on the PS2, and eh, I I, I to be honest, I'm not even sure. What I'm sorry. I I I I always have thoughts about what to talk about in, the, in my head, and honestly, I'm kind of just getting distracted by all these players. I'm like, damn, there's a lot of people on. But um, overall, uh, the game plays very similar more so to old school than RS3 I would say and old school combat is like very prevalent as in if you look here uh, if we make it a little bit bigger you see special attacks there are special attacks for your weapons right and you know there's, you have three types of weapons you can swap between them during combat you have two forms of healing or uh, well one's a healing potion one's a strength potion I'm assuming I'm not sure if you can put two healing potions maybe you can but um what else we have? I, I actually banked everything, so I can't even talk about like my gear. Uh, my stats, though, if we... Where's my professions? They call them professions, which is what you call them, Dofus. So, 22 guard. Guard is like slayer. 20 chef, which is like cooking. Fisherwoman, which is co uh, obviously fishing. Forger, which is... I guess it's like Dofus with gather a gathering skill. Alchemist for potions. And... The other thing that I think uh, a lot of people don't like, actually, which is like a lot of the negative reviews on this game, is it, it, if you see uh, Hope Forest, it's chapter two, right? It's uh, Scout, Gatherer, Woodcutter, and Carpenter. So people are complaining a lot that Scout and Guard are essentially the same skill. If you look at um, Guard, uh, here's all the things you can kill. Like, oh, you can kill some recruits. Uh, level uh, 16, you kill hooligans. And if you look at um, a scout, you can kill, uh, you know, some outlaws, a viper, a bear. I don't see unlocks for like a bow, like uh, the other thing had. Although I guess uh, guard, because if you look at guard, a level 15, you can get a bow. But I think it's just because like it's more of a tutorial thing. But how I think of this is like Slayer. Like this is like Slayer one, and this is Slayer two, and. You also have to think of it as, like, let's just say we were, like, max players, right? When they make a new piece of content, everyone starts at level 1 Slayer, essentially, and they have to work their way up. So, if there's ever a new piece of content, you don't have to be max level at the previous contents to enjoy it or, like, participate in the new boss. It's kind of, it's, how it is, it's, like, instead of resetting players or making power creep, new areas are based around new gear. So, like, if we go, so let's just say, like, Five years from now, there's like chapter 12. Uh, chapter 12 gear is like is really bad in chapter one. Like, what if chapter one stuff, like they maybe they make a new chapter one boss or uh, in in you know the area, you know we don't know. Um, but I, I I think that's I think World of Warcraft does that uh, more often. Like where like uh, they I think Power Creep got so bad in World of Warcraft that like kind of reset things. Uh, where, like, instead of doing, like, 1 billion damage or 1 million, it's, like, rounded to, like, 1,000. Like, they just got rid of some zeros. And I just think that's, that's, that's the way this game, uh, long-term, to c combat that or, like, 
make it so people don't feel like they have to be max level to participate in new content. Like, let's say I was a casual player. Oh, new, you know, again, like chapter 12 is released. I can participate with my friends that are high level because I don't have to be level 300 guard uh, to be able to do the new content. I just have to do the quest lines. So I think it's kind of underappreciated. I, I also think a lot of people are not understanding that, like, if you, let's say I'm 22 apprentice and I get the new area. Oh, well, the second chapter two area is, is clearly better. I don't think that's the case. Like, you're going to have to go back to Hope Port and level up guard. And, like, look at all this stuff. Like, level 300 creatures, level 400 creatures. It's like, you need Slayer 1 uh, to be a high level to fight these mobs and get their loot. And maybe even do the specific bosses. And we don't know what the bosses will drop. Like, enchants that are really important. Or maybe a new skilling item. And you ha you know we don't know these things. And, and same thing with Scout. Like, look at Scout. If you go all the way to like level 400... There's uh, different bosses like oh a terrifying shade, uh, ul the ultimate scout cape. I, I just think a lot of people are misreading it and not thinking too much about it. I understand why they don't like it though, because they they just feel like their progress is meaningless. But I don't think that's the case. I think they need to play the game a little bit more. And again, it's not to say that they're wrong with how they feel. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but again, like may may maybe maybe the, how Andrew Gower is doing it is wrong. Maybe it's just like it doesn't work in today's game uh, um, game uh, day and age, right? Like where you can't, even though you think it's correct or even maybe it is correct, the it, it's too ahead of its time. But I hope that people kind of come to their senses and kind of realize, I, I understand what he's going with here, where it's to make it so new content is easier to make. You don't have to balance around like, okay, we're making chapter five. Okay, we have to bounce around chapter one. We have to bounce around chapter two. No, it's a a, a fresh slate. You know, you can do something new. You like, it's kind of like seasons. Like, think of like like season one, season two, and you can go back to the season, and each season has like a certain gimmick or a, a certain special attack combos are like really good. That's how I think about. It. I, I I again, I haven't played it up to really you know, see if I appreciate or like it, but I understand what they're going for. Um, another complaint, again, like, similar to Gather, like Gather, you can say, again, it's just like, oh, get some Dandelions, get some bitter fruit. But then you look at uh, Forager, it's kind of like the, oh, get potatoes, get potatoes for cooking, uh, get water lilies to make potions. Again, I haven't played too much to see, like, oh, what is what does Gatherer do? Like, is Gatherer, like, a skill that helps alchemy? I'm assuming so. I, I'm assuming it's, it's just to make the chapter two potions like the uh whatever plus one potions i don't even know what that is uh maybe it's to make the uh where, where, where would it be uh try and find do, 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 do. i don't even know if, is i again I don't, I don't even know i'm trying i'm trying to like think of maybe there's like a chapter two potion i can make i'm i i don't know so i would need to play more to see how that is what cutter is a unique skill the chapter two so that is pretty interesting again like it's too early on to say but like uh, you do get new skills. But again, there is uh, more room for more skills, so we don't know if that's even all the skills in Chapter 1. Uh, Carpenter, I haven't even done yet. And, uh, yeah, as you level up and get your first level 20 skill, you get knowledge, you can review rewards, and uh, if you can see... Um, can I click this or no? No. Uh, once I get, fill, get enough experience in various skills, I can put either get experience, which is like three, 4,000 experience at like a level 20 skill, get some money, or... I can, uh, if I click this uh, next reward, Squelling Boar, I can go AFK Wild Boars, and that will level up my uh, scout. I don't think I got any items from AFK. I'm not sure if I did. No, I don't think I did. Yeah. So even though I was AFKing the Wild Boars, all I got were uh, experience and gold. I didn't actually get any uh, drops. I don't think I did. I might be wrong. I don't think I did. Um, there is a, a quest tab, as you can see. Oh, it's loading. Do, 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 do. Uh, there is a quest tab, so uh, I completed the obelisk, and I haven't done anything else. Uh, the stars mean the difficulty. I haven't done too many, because, uh, you know, I'm just looking around. Uh, let me put back on my armor. Again, all this armor is chapter 2 armor. And if you see, once I put on my sword, it's going to say, uh, yeah, episode 1. Episode 1 gear, it does work here, but it's a lot weaker. It's not to say it's bad, it's just weaker, right? Like, you can still use Episode 1 gear in here, it's just... At Episode 2, weapon would be better in Episode 2, essentially. Uh, let's go kill some shades, I guess. So, 
Uh, the world map is pretty good, I think. Again, it can maybe be better with UI. It, it's a little bit basic, but um, I think it does the job. I'm, I'm not... I don't know if people wanted something else. Uh, my only complaint with the map is, if you see when I move, I would like it if it... Like, you see, I, cl I even uh, click recenter, but I wish it moved with you, like RuneScape. I, I'm sure they'll do that. Again, another thing people need to realize is that it's an early access beta. So, I am sure... They will uh, do quality of life changes such as that. Um, so let's try a fight. What am I trying to fight here? I want to try to fight some uh, shades. And uh, I'll talk while I'm fighting some shades to show the combat off. Do, 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 do. Hope I don't get aggroed. Okay, good. Uh, this guy's going to fight that guy, right? You going to fight him? No. So I'm going to start off the fight by shooting a bow. And if you see, uh, he has to walk to me. So I get a free three hits in, which is pretty good. Then I can swap to my sword and just whack him. And there are potions, but I don't have any elemental damage, so I don't. I haven't made any elemental potions. There is a healing potion, but I don't have that much HP right now that I don't think they really matter. And I think at a low level, it's better off just uh, doing bobs where you don't need to depend on potions just to level up as fast as possible. I got a better shield, as you can see. When you try to equip the new shield, it says, oh, this has all better stats, so it's obviously better. Um, let's go try to... This guy's running away from the shade. It's kind of cute. It's very cute seeing people actually scared of mobs again, honestly. Because uh, if you mess up a little bit, like if I were to swap manually to my sword, I will actually waste a global cooldown and die. This con Again, as you can see, the combat's a lot like um, old school, where you can attack you know, and just wait. Uh, I think the game has a lot of potential depth, though, because another complaint I've seen... Again, I don't want to make this just a... Uh, oh, I've seen these complaints, but you know, I think it's a good way to talk about things. Uh... Some people are like, oh, this game doesn't have depth compared to old school, but it's like, it's early game, right? Like, I only have 15 hours in this game. A lot of it, I think at least two, three hours of it was AFKing because, you know, I was away from my keyboard doing something. At least I think that's what it was. But, like, look, I have special attacks. I don't even have that. Uh, we're not even doing a group boss. Uh, there is the potential to move. Maybe there's things that increase your movement speed. There are also classes you can take, like a, uh, I think it was like a hammer, uh, it's some kind of hammer class where you can wield, use hammers. I don't know what that does. Again, like, I, I can't even say what to expect. But, um, I think the game has a lot of potential. Like, imagine if this was a dragon. Like, oh, you gotta run away from it. Oh, you gotta use this 2H weapon to deal a hundred to stop or cancel an attack. Let's go back to my, uh, my sword because the dragon fire to protect it. Oh, let's use the bow. Uh... Let's run away and heal when it's channeling and then use a bow uh, for some extra damage Like I think the combat again the combat is simple, but I think it has a lot of potential death What the heck did I get guardian only see this is a weapon uh, 60 da 60 damage. It's a two-handed weapon uh, 82% chance to deal air damage. It's called air borrowing damage. It's, it's essentially air damage Oh, it's actually no sorry. Sorry. It's one-handed my butt. So it's a one-handed weapon actually really strong if you compare it to my sword, it's only 49 damage. Um, the one uh, penalty of that, though, is if I'm fighting a monster that is resistant to air, such as uh, carnivorous plants in uh, Chapter 1. Obviously, I had to do it there. Uh, in, in Chapter 1, they're immune to air. Uh, this mob, for instance, is vulnerable to air. So that weapon, if I was a guardian, would actually deal more damage to these. So uh, it's interesting they don't have resistances. It's more like they're just immune to the damage, right? So, like, uh, if we look at the shade again, let me try, try this guy. Look at the shade, he is immune to necromay damage. So, yeah, don't use anything based on that. Uh, so, again, I, I can't say what Guardian does in this game, but there is a class system in the game. I'm not sure if you can change between them or not, but we'll find out. Uh, you can also like save spot in this game as well. I can sh uh, probably show that off fast if you want me to. Um, where am I going? That's bears. Yeah, let's go over there. Do, 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 do. I just want to show off uh, how to save spot. Run through here. Uh, every inst every area is instance up to a player cap. Uh, so. That is one thing some people complain about. And I think that's a valid complaint where you might be skilling and you have to walk like two, three maps to get some more supplies for skilling, such as cooking, right? But then when you do that, you actually, you might not join the same instance as that player. So I think that's a valid complaint. 
Uh, I'm sure there will be worlds, though. I think right now there's no, like, structure to the game. It's just, like, instances. And it wouldn't surprise me if the Andrew Gower actually implements worlds, so that issue is resolved. Again, I think that is valid feedback because people like socializing. Uh, I'm going to fight some bears here. And the bears are a little bit bigger, as you'll see. So here they are, right? And so we're going to start a fight with this bear by shooting an arrow at him. And then I'm going to run away, right? So we're going to run over here. Oh, over here. And... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so right now, see how he's like safe spotted? So if this was a monster that did a lot of damage, I could attack, attack, then go over here, and then drink potions and recover, right? <laughs> he's the same amount of ammo. Um, also, uh, if you look at my... Uh, can I look at my weapons? Yeah, eh, can I look here? Yeah, so right here, this weapon, it says it's melee. Uh, I haven't seen a weapon yet that has, has like, you know, maybe there's a scythe where, or a halberd where it can attack from two range and maybe you can safe shot some things. Like, again, this game plays so much like old school that, but the only thing about it is like, you can't like AFK these and AFK is not that good. Again, like, people, to me, I, I think they're so used to like, you know, old school, you're level 40, right? Let's say you're in 40 all stats. All you do is this AFK rock crabs like 60, 80, and that's it. And the combat's very simple. And I feel like people kind of just turn a blind eye to that because it's like, oh, it's old school, so like they're just used to it. And then when a new game comes out like this, or they're, they're expecting like, it to be like Final Fantasy, where I assume it's like so flashy at level one, level ten, right? And I think they kind of just forget like the guy who, again, the guy who made this is the guy who made RuneScape, so he's trying to, you know, it's essentially a spiritual successor to RuneScape. So I think some people need to just kind of appreciate the game for what it is, where it's like. It's not meant to be completed right away. Again, like, are we pretending that old school is has so much depth at level 40? Like, it doesn't. It's just kill rock crabs, right? So, I think a lot of those opinions are very easy to tell. Like, people are literally saying, oh, this game needs uh, depth. And, like, it does, even at a low level. But, like, I think they're maybe misreading it. Like, maybe they're just... Like not seeing the potential of it and just killing this. Like again, I mean, these things are, are relatively easy. Like all I have to do is start a fight from a little bit away, get some free pop shots off, and then whack it, right? But it was harder to kill these, uh, you know, without good gear. So I got some good drops that are, you know, helped me quite a bit with them. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll say I think I'm gonna keep it leave it at that. Um, you can play the game for yourself. I kind of just want to talk about like what I think about the game. I think the game is very solid. Uh, I'm very curious on how I, I I'm just, I, I haven't played the game enough to have like a, a full like oh like the late game is amazing oh the special attacks are amazing but I think at a base level for like a new player like imagine if you never played games before or you only played RuneScape and only got to like level 40 and stopped playing 10 years ago I think it's a solid game because you can't make it overly complicated like this game isn't like the early game is not going to be the Inferno you know like I think so because it's kind of crazy this game has. I need to attune this weapon. 52 uh, strength. And what's this weapon? Oh, it's actually a better sword. Oh, it's a two-handed, though. I don't think that's actually better than... My two-handed weapon is the spear. Oh, it actually is better. But, uh, eh, I'm not sure if it's going to be... Eh, I'll worry about that later. Um, Actually, I can show that off you if you want. But, so, when you... I'm not sure what the point of this is, because... It's untuned, right? Oh, am I gonna attack here? Don't attack me. Oh, well. Um, we're gonna kill a thing and something and then teleport. I think it is still better to use a bow here because look how fast this bow attacks. I'm not sure where you can see attack speed of weapons, but um, these weapons that attack really fast are really strong. But yeah, it says untuned right here, and it just means you have to go to a obelisk and identify them. I'm not, again, I'm not sure what the point of it is. Like, is it just to make you have to travel and not to stay in one place? I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe there's more to it, as in, like, maybe higher level drops require you to have certain resources to attune it. I'm assuming it's going to be something like that, right? Like, maybe a boss drop, like, you get a new 2H uh, sword, but, like, you need some skilling resources to attune it to make skilling resources relevant. So... I'm assuming it's something like that, but yeah, uh, in chapter 2, there's this little obelisk here. I'll try to run to it. This guy's gonna aggro to me, but he'll get stuck, so that's whatever. You should click tune item, I'm gonna tune my 2H sword. 
And it's tuned. This guy's gonna get stuck by that pill at a uh, little torch, as you can see. Tuned. I'm gonna tune this shield. And is the shield better? Uh, nope, it isn't. What about this? Is this better? No. The 2 H sword is better overall. And I'm not doing any multi build, so that's irrelevant. So I, I'll use the 2 H sword. Let's try out the 2 H sword fast. I won't even bow this guy. Let's just try out the 2 H sword. Boom. Boom. Is it charge faster? I'm trying to see the attack speed, honestly. One. I think it does attack faster. Hmm. I need to try it out a little bit and see if it's actually good. But, hmm, where are attack speeds? I don't know where attack speeds are, honestly. This sword actually might be hot garbage, guys. I'm almost, I'm almost dying to a fucking goblin. This, this is a level 8 mob. I was killing level 20 mobs. What the hell? Again, like, it's kind of weird because it says, like, if you look at the, uh, my bow or even the sword, it says 52, right? But, like, you don't see 52 damage. Oh, it's 52 strength. So, like, it's kind of, I guess it's like RuneScape. Maybe, like, four p th points equals one damage, I guess, you know? Not sure. Um, I was going to keep it short. O overall, I don't want to spoil the game too much. Uh, it is free on Steam. I, I did spend, I think, the $5 or whatever to get my unique name, X9. And try out the other areas, but I definitely recommend trying out this game in free to play. Um, what I was saying before though is this game is like a 62% rating. I don't think it deserves a 62 bit rating because that's saying like it's a really bad game. I think if there's issues with the game, again, your your feedback is valid, but maybe give it some more time and maybe understand why the decision was made. You know, because I think Andrew Gower is a he's a veteran game designer, right? Like he made RuneScape. RuneScape is still going today. People love RuneScape. They love old school. Like. Without him, RuneScape wouldn't exist. So I think we need to kind of like maybe even be more patient with him and maybe give him some more credit. Because I, I I understand what he's going for. We'll see how it pans out, you know. Um, and it's, and some of these people saying like, oh, the AFK rates are bad or like the XP is bad. Like, again, I, I, I think it's going to be like oh, the old days where like, bro, you think you're going to level 500 for the ultimate scout cape? Uh, I think this is equivalent of like 120 or 200 mil XP or maybe even 99 back in... The RuneScape Classic era, or even early RuneScape 2 era. Uh, I don't think it's a good. I don't think this game's gonna be a game where you're meant to complete the game unless you like, literally like, AFK a lot, play it a lot, and are really committed to it. And, like even getting one two five level five hundred skill, it's probably a big commitment. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Cause again, like imagine if they made a new area, like getting level five hundred and all those rewards and bosses and stuff, it, it would take a while. So the Time to consume the content would be high, but it's important to have that balance of engaging content upgrades and stuff for the time and not just like, oh, it's grinding for the sake of grinding. So maybe tell me what you think of the comments. I, I personally have been enjoying the game. Um, a lot of interesting mechanics, a lot of potential. I've been saying that over and over, but I, I do hope the community overall maybe is a little bit less harsh because I was very surprised to see a 62% rating. And it's it's just it's literally just because of people saying it's not AFK or like the AFK rates are garbage, which is kind of funny to say because some people say to take prestige and our old school RuneScape skills, and oh when you go to area two your area one stuff doesn't matter when that's not true like there's still area one content I haven't done like again there's all the stuff in, in area one Slayer and area two Slayer has all the stuff so like I don't I honestly don't think they understand that. They probably just think Area 2 is this new. So yeah, I'm just going to start repeating this stuff. And tell me what you think. Oh my god. You know what? This has been a stream, but you know what, guys? That's fine. I'm going to upload it to my YouTube. Big brain. I'll be right back, guys. I will stream. I, I, I can't believe this is actually a stream. But you know what? That's fine. Do you know that Twitch uploads the video faster than YouTube? So you know what? I subconsciously did. Okay, I'm actually going to end the stream now, aka the VOD. And you'll see it on YouTube soon. And I will stream soon. So yeah, bye.